Good morning over here from Portons Park and yesterday we're back over here at one of my favourite theme parks here in the UK. Honestly it's so great to be back here at this amazing park again because today we're of course going to be experiencing Tornado Springs with of course the new for 2022 roller coaster Farm Love Fire. Yeah you know what I'm really looking forward to getting on there. Also as well we're going to be exploring the whole entire park of course including Peppa Pig World and so much more. You know what this is such a fantastic park I'm so looking forward to get back inside it. Uh, yeah, I think first up we're heading over to Farm Love Fly so yeah let's head over there. So we've just come off the new for 2022 Farm Love Flyer and you know what I actually really enjoyed that. In my opinion that is a great addition here of course to Tornado Springs and Paulton's Park itself. I mean, you know what? yeah that was actually a really fun coaster. Also as well we did get the front row and you know what it was quite rough however for a kids coaster I thought that was pretty good. However of course as you can hear now we are now over here at Storm Chaser. Honestly this is one of my favourite coasters here in the UK. The soundtrack's amazing, the queue line's amazing, it's just about to see now, and your overall is such a fantastic ride. Uh, but yeah, without any further ado, let's get straight on Storm Chaser. Honestly, it was so great to get back onto Storm Chaser. Yeah, look at it go, it's such a fantastic roller coaster. In my opinion, one of the best here in the UK. And you're also as well, the colour scheme's amazing. And of course, the soundtrack is again, one of the best here in the UK. Overall, it's just a fantastic ride. We do also get the back row, which means, especially when you go on that helix, it's pretty intense. Uh, but now we've made our way over here to Cyclator. And yeah, honestly, we've got three rides done. Oh, I mean, this is actually our third ride, uh, yeah, in 15 minutes. This is pretty crazy so far. And you know, it is very quiet. Uh, but yeah, let's go and take a ride on to Cyclator. So we've just got off Cyclator, and yeah, I don't usually like flat rides, but you know what? I do actually really enjoy my ride on Cyclator, and yeah, overall, it's just a fun ride. Also as well, the soundtrack, and of course, the theming, as in the whole area, is just incredible. Uh, but yeah, next up, we're going to be heading on to Windmill Towers, and yeah, essentially, this is basically Fire and Ice Freefall. Uh, yeah, of course, at Legoland Windsor, which is here in a tornado theme, which is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, without any further ado, let's go and take a ride onto Windmill Towers. So we've just completed a couple more rides over here in Tornado Springs with one of course being Windmill Towers and you know what I actually really enjoyed that them drop tires. Yeah overall they are a fun ride however yeah I do think I do prefer Fire and Ice Free Fall over at Legoland Windsor. However straight after we went on to a walk on queue uh, for Buffalo Falls and yeah you know what that was actually running really well today. Honestly the air times down them drops were actually pretty good fun and yeah that's definitely one of my favourite ones that I've experienced. However, now we've made our way over here to the last official ride in Tornado Springs that we can experience. Because of course, in this area, you do also have Owls Auto Academy, which, I mean, we can't experience because we're too old to experience it. But also as well, you do have the Rio Grande train. However, you know what, that goes around the whole, that goes around most of the park, sorry. So yeah, I do believe that um, I don't really count it as in the area. However, yeah, of course, we've made it over here to Trek and Tractors. So yeah, let's go and take a ride on Trek and Tractors. Honestly, Paulton's Park is so quiet today. We've just got on our sixth ride, which was of course the Rio Grande train. And yeah, you know what? That was actually pretty good fun. In my opinion, yeah, it's actually a great overall ride. And yeah, that's actually one of the best things I've done. However, just before then, uh, we actually did just experience trekking tractors. And yeah, again, that was quite a fun ride. Uh, yeah, of course, it is quite rough. However, you know what? It's pretty authentic. And yeah, I believe that was actually one of the original attractions over here at the park. And yeah, we've now made our way over here into Critter Creek. And of course, for a ride on the Cat's O-Pillar Coaster. Yeah, this is one of their family goes to the park. And yeah, it's actually a great overall ride, especially if you get the back row. And yeah, let's go and take a ride on the Cat O-Pillar Coaster. So we've just completed every single ride in the Lost Kingdom and you know what that's such a fantastic area honestly the theming in there uh, yeah, is some of the best in the country however straight after we just went over to Magma of course that's the park's main drop tower uh, of course outside of Windmill Towers in Tornado Springs and uh, you know what that was a pretty good ride I do actually think I prefer a Windmill Towers even though it's much smaller than that one and uh, you know what it's still a good ride and yeah right after we did go over to Cobra and yeah it's a ride as you can see just right now uh, going around uh, yeah that I've been wanting to do for quite a while again and yeah overall it's just a fun ride and yeah, honestly, like, this road always has such a strong queue. However, yeah, following on with the theme, it was actually really quiet today. You have a literal walk on. So yeah, you know what? That was such a good ride. However, yeah, now we're going to head over to the, the edge. So yeah, let's head over there. 
So we've just come off the edge and you know what, that was so great to get back on there. And yeah, that's actually a really important ride to me because yeah, of anywhere in the world, that's when that actually got me into coasters. So yeah, you know what, I did really enjoy my ride on the edge. However, you know what, uh, yeah, you can definitely see it's quite old over here at the park. I did believe it may have been an opening day attraction. Oh yeah, it may have got built a little bit later than opening day. And you know what, yeah, it's definitely one of the older attractions over here at the park. However, straight after we did just go to the chair swings and you know, I don't actually know the official names. However, yeah, I mean, they're all right. I mean, it's nothing special. And yeah, you know, the staff member that's actually really nice. And apparently that ride actually just go backwards. Yeah, just like the one over at Ferrup Summerland, which we experienced uh, not long ago. Yeah, that one actually went backwards. So yeah, it's a pretty cool fact. Also as well, we did just experience their log flume. And yeah, that's the last major ride over here at the park. And yeah, you know, that was also pretty good as well. I mean, it's nothing special uh, due to, I think it's been like a clone layout uh, pretty much all around the world. Yeah, so it's nothing special. Have you know what? It's still a fun ride. Yeah, you do get pretty well on it. However, yeah, we've literally completed pretty much every ride over here at Portons Park. Of course, apart from Peppa Pig World. However, you know what? There's nothing really to show in Peppa Pig World. However, you know, it is a fantastic area. However, yeah, I believe we've now come to the end of our day over here at Portons Park. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.